Ordinarily, I wouldn't use a fabric with this large a pattern repeat on such a small chair. It's got a 26 inch horizontal repeat with a 14 vertical. But I recently used this fabric on an East Lake settee and platform rocker. I found out it works up beautifully. I started by centering my pattern and cutting this panel for the outside back. I'll use this panel as a guide for laying out the seat and back support. I'll center this pattern over the back pad. Looks like I only need to add maybe an inch and a half all the way around. I'll center this pattern over the seat, measure it out. It looks like seven inches of work all the way around. Well, I've matched up the pattern with my back panel, lay it out over the fabric. I'll mark out seven inches on every side. I'll match up the template for my back pad. I'm just going to eyeball this inch and a half oversize. I'll drop over a layer of cotton fit it around the frame. I'll feather these edges off. I'll feather this cotton away along the edge of the frame. I'll lay the fabric over the seat, square it up, adjust the pattern. I'll get it roughly squared into place and put some temporary shots in the frame. Get two or three in the front here. Work to the back. I'll work this fabric down against the side of the arm frame there. I'm going to make a 90 degree cut towards the center of this area on the side here. I'm going to stop short quite a ways here. I'll angle off a little there. Just a little bit there and we'll see how that comes out. You can always cut more. All right, tuck that in with the regulator and I think it's going to be fine. I'll pull this over the side and put in a couple of temporary shots here. Work the fabric towards the corner. With both arms pulled into place, I've got the fabric snug back towards this post. I'll make a diagonal cut, stop about a half inch short. Again, you can always cut more. Pull this down along the upright. Looks good. Turn these corners back and trim away some of this excess. Pull them down and 
staple them. I'll pull out these temporary shots and even up the pattern with the bottom of the rail. Take out these temporary shots along the front rail. And I'll start pulling this down tight. Turn this corner back and trim away some of the excess here. Use the regulator and tuck that under. Pull that down tight. I'll use my regulator and Push some cotton up into this soft spot right here. Need to use small tufts at a time because cotton will ball up and get into a hard lump. Just a little at a time will do it. Pull this temporary shot right here. I'm going to drop just a little bit of cotton in here on this shallow spot here. Okay, that ought to be all right. Yeah. Pull this down and start working the fabric towards the front. Remove this temporary shot here and pull this corner in. Use the regulator and clean this corner fold. Trim away this fabric and we can call this a wrap on covering the seat. I'll put on a layer of cotton on this back. Get it set right along that edge. Then I'll Feather it away here.
the top and bottom pulled tight and squared up, I'll pull down the sides and move on to the outside back. Okay, that's a wrap on this project.